There's a lot of buzz in the AI space about agents, so I wanted to go over the conceptual difference between agentic AI and retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. I'm ML Linguist, and today we'll explore what each is, how they differ, and why agentic AI represents a next level in autonomy for the AI systems of the future. RAG, short for Retrieval Augmented Generation, enhances a language model by letting it look up documents at runtime, instead of relying solely on its pre-trained data. It retrieves relevant external text from databases or knowledge bases and feeds that into the model's prompt to generate more accurate and up-to-date responses. This approach is great for targeting issues of hallucination in LLMs, since the model's responses are grounded in real evidence. Think of it like a student citing sources they use for a paper they're writing. We know that the information is reliable due to their citations to existing research or other academic sources. I've made a video on RAG before, but here's an overview of the core process once again. RAG works in four key steps, indexing, retrieval, augmentation, and generation. When indexing, the documents are embedded into vectors and stored in a database. At query time, the system retrieves the most relevant text, the step of retrieval. These texts are then combined with the user's query in the augmentation step, and then fed to the LLM to generate a final response using both the user query and retrieved information. Feel free to check out my more in-depth video overview of RAG systems at the link in the pinned comment. Moving on to Agentic AI. Agentic AI refers to autonomous systems that don't just answer questions, but also take action. These systems break down goals, plan, adapt, and execute across multiple steps without human intervention. Now, agentic AI as a concept is different from an AI agent. Simply put, agentic AI involves multi-agent collaboration, dynamic task decomposition, persistent memory, and orchestrated autonomy. But what does this all mean, and what even is an AI agent? Let's start with the latter. An AI agent, according to this paper, is defined as an autonomous software entity engineered for goal-directed task execution within bounded digital environments. This basically means that the AI agent is like a specialist in one task that works autonomously once deployed with minimal human intervention. On the other hand, agentic AI systems are marked by multi-agent collaboration, meaning that they're composed of multiple specialized agents that coordinate, communicate, and dynamically allocate subtasks within a broader workflow to achieve a common goal or goals. Agentic AI systems are a much more powerful automated system than a mere AI agent. They can break complex tasks down into smaller ones and make decisions about which sub-agent in the flow would best suit a particular task. RAG and agentic AI are two different concepts, but some systems choose to combine the best of both worlds with agentic RAG. In an agentic RAG system, retrieval grounding is integrated with reasoning and action. Instead of a static retrieve to generate process, agents dynamically plan, act, and iterate, orchestrating tools and multiple knowledge sources to solve complex tasks. This paper discusses a multi-agent framework for RAG, using a set of collaborative, specialized AI agents to handle each stage of the RAG pipeline with task-aware reasoning. Let me know if you'd like a video on agentic RAG, along with a project demo and walkthrough in the future. In conclusion, both RAG and agentic AI have their differences and specific use cases and can be a killer combination when implemented right. The advent of agentic AI is a game changer for future models because it fundamentally shifts AI from being reactive tools to becoming proactive, autonomous decision makers. I hope this explanation helps. I'd be happy to answer any further questions in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe if this was helpful.